morning guys i think it's almost day five four i'm so tired i think it's four i don't know you know what vlogmas day it is and it's at the top of the screen um i'm just getting ready for work and i've got about three minutes because um some parcels arrived and i got totally distracted from what i was supposed to be doing and now there's no time to get ready i also went downstairs um and answered the door I thought I'd gotten everything off. That sounds worse than it is. Um, because I slept on in various things like hydrating mask. I had some um, eye patches under my eyes because I knew my eyes were going to be really like, ugh. Um, so that's made a decent amount of difference, I think, which is crazy because they look like they've never been opened in their entire lives at this point. Um, but I also had sport cream around my chin. Uh, I forgot about that. And so after I'd entered the door, went to the bathroom, go and wash my face and just like dollops of spot cream everywhere. Not cute. So in case you were wondering, that was the Urban Decay One and Done, which is amazing, super, super quick for foundation, whatever. Uh, and this is the Bobby Brown, the Bobby B -B Brown um, concealer, the corrector one, the pot that I talk about all the time. It's really quite um, heavy duty for a concealer for me. I've got so many really colors at the moment. Now I have started shaving my face again. Um, and the reason that I'm doing it is because I have uh, a thing coming to me that's basically a new IPL device and I really want to give it a go and you have to shave your face to use it on your face and that is what I'm interested in the most more than um, anywhere else, legs or whatever I'm most interested in getting rid of the hair on my face so I have to shave my face to use it and so I've got a few little bumps and breakouts this is the Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil which I'm obsessed with especially under my eyes this stuff is amazing just blurs everything out and it's amazing 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 very totally falls into that flattering category it's kind of like um, professional on the opposite end of the application spectrum and then i think i'm going to do maybe a little bit of blush and mascara and i really don't have time for anything else this hourglass blush i've been using with like a this one i've been using with a brush like this because i found that i can kind of buff it and still get a nice sheen rather than apply it and it look um it's hard right now because my face is covered in pressure marks from sleeping so it's hard to know whether or not I've actually blended something out or not. Annoying. Um, yeah, I found that if I kind of buff it like this, it it releases that nice hourglass sheen uh, without it looking kind of a little bit patchy because I did find it a little bit difficult to blend in the past when I've used this, but I've used like a regular blush brush. I think this is a little bit better. I don't know. Because I'm yeah, struggling with that. The whole lines part i really do struggle with blush like full stop though not knowing where did that brush go not knowing how to apply it at like a master class bit of mascara this is the lancome monsieur big although if i could find it if I, oh there it is i was going to use the um benefit roller lash because the problem with this one although i really do like it and it gives me that instant oomph of my lashes the roller lash um, doesn't transfer, this really does. And especially because I'm tired today, this is probably a really bad idea. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of the roller lash over the top of this. Because if I'm a little bit tired, and I'm a bit like this, my lashes end up touching this part of my eye. It transfers and it is not cute. Okay, I'm actually gonna do lipstick. No, I'm not, I don't have time. I'm always late everywhere. I heard that the perpetually late are just super optimistic. I don't know, I think I'm just a really bad time planner. I realised that I didn't put my lip balm in the bag. My lips are so dry. That was a mistake. Just hanging out after dropping Milo off because anyone that does a school run on a horrendous road, which most school runs are, um, knows you can't really move straight away, otherwise you're gonna get caught in some kind of weird bottleneck traffic. So you have to hang out five minutes. Hello, welcome to the Big Sign Drive Through. What can I get for you today? A medium caramel latte with an extra shot of coffee and just two pumps of caramel please. And then as far as cleaning goes, I just keep on top of the main traffic areas of my house. I'm constantly cleaning them and um, we're 
we're now on the stage where, you know, I'm teaching Charlotte how to pick up after herself constantly, just keeping Thank things you. tight, keeping things off the floor. Um, but I really, this is, <laughs> this like really offends my core, my mother who's a gourmand. I feel like my hair is huge today. I'm getting real Hagrid vibes. I don't know why. No volume on top. It's all down here. Also, the red is kind of sticking with me a little bit. Anyway, I gotta go to work. So after leaving work, I came home straight away, sorted loads of stuff out upstairs. I kind of have all of this motivation when I'm at work and then I get home and I'm like, ugh, can't be bothered. So today I was like, no, have to, have to, have to. So I left a little bit early, which means I'm gonna have to work a little bit longer tomorrow. Um, but while I still had the motivation, I wanted to come home and sort some stuff out. So I've done it, I've put a load of clothes away, thrown some stuff away, I've cleaned, done things, which means I've got most of the evening left to myself. So it's only half past five now and Milo and I, what are you doing right now? <laughs> um, we are again. settling in to read what book, Marza? Elf on the Shelf. Elf on the Shelf. Since we've just remembered to start looking for Elf again, we thought we were reading the book. Is the other way? Look at Milo's cool new mug. That's like, <laughs> what is your face all about? You look so puzzled. Wait, stay still so it can focus. It's Mr. C Little Mr. Christmas or whatever it's called. And Mr. Milo. And it's Mr. Milo. I love that. I think that's so cool. So he's requested a cup of tea for story time. So at the end of the book, it's um, got a little page that you're supposed to fill out. And Ella actually filled this out in 2013. So we have been doing this for a little while. And the boy elf was called Christopher. But at some point, we also welcomed a girl elf and we can't remember her name. So, for today's giveaway, I'll show you what the actual um, thing is that you can win in a little while. But I'm going to make it an oh, Instagram. Oh, you're going to win a makeup palette. It, there's always a possibility it will be a makeup palette. He knows me well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what it is in a little while. I haven't decided what I'm going to give away today. But to enter to win, uh, I'm going to make it an Instagram giveaway today. And I'm going to post something that is Elf on the Shelf related. You will be able to tell immediately which one I'm talking about. Leave me a comment on that post uh, telling me what you think the girl elf should be called. Because we really could do with some elf ideas. Uh, so that's what's going to be today. Same as previous ones, you don't have to have any particular terms and conditions, don't care where you live. I will post it anywhere. Uh, you just need to be able to give me your name and address without getting into trouble. <laughs> And my Instagram will be linked below. I would say it's Michaela McDade, but I know that's impossible to spell. So it will be linked below if you don't already follow me. Go ahead and do that. And today's giveaway prize is the Brazilian Bomb Bomb Cream. I know it sounds crazy, but I've heard so many people talk about this and say it's amazing. I've never actually tried it. I have got a pot to try for myself, so watch this space because I will be reviewing it soon. But it says fast absorbing all over body cream that helps to tighten and smooth like no other. So look out for that Instagram post where you can uh, tell us what the elf should be called. It's going to way confuse people. Uh, tell us what the elf should be called and enter into the giveaway to win this. I think it is just three of the three of the um, original bomb bomb cream, which sounds hilarious. I'm never going to not find that amusing, but I don't really want to rip into it and see. So whoever wins this, you'll have to let me know if it's actually any different. I do. I think they are just kind of like three smaller sizes. I guess so you could split them up as like stocking stuffers maybe. I don't know, but I'm interested to try it. I just realized I never did this yesterday, so we've got two to open, and it looks like somebody has opened this for me. I'm guessing it's Milo. Um, this says, lip, lip, hooray, and it is Pillow Plump XXL. Um, sexy mother pucker lip gloss with a tingle. And then number five is the prime of your life. Ooh, I didn't even know this was a thing. One heck of a blot primer. Instant perfecting wear with shine block 12 hour matte spheres and pore shrink technology. I know I said it in a previous vlog, but I'm really impressed by this so far. I actually have no idea how much it costs because it was sent to me. Let's look that up. There's nothing like that you're filming. No, I'm filming. Okay. okay, Soap and Glory's one is sold out online, but according to Cosmo Volant, it was £40. And, um, oh, disappeared, disappeared, disappeared. And their is no kind of, oh, do you know what? I'm really annoyed that I've just looked this up because it's given kind of like a full overview of everything that you get. Where is the fun in that? I don't understand when people look up what is in the advent calendar. Like every single one of these advent calendar things just basically shows you what you get in the advent calendar. I get that you want value for money, but why do you want to know what's in the advent calendar? That's part of the fun. 
So now I've seen some spoilers. Annoying. But anyway, I think it's good so far. Even if it was £40, I think it's pretty good from what I've got so far. I have just edited this vlog. I think I'm going to go and treat myself with a little glass of box fizz in the bath. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Before I forget, Deborah, you are the winner of that exotic fragrance kit. This one. Hang on, hang on. This one. I will have contacted you on Facebook by the time you see this. You will already know. But for those of you that want an announcement, Deborah was the winner. And if you haven't already, come and join our Facebook Vlogmas group. It's really, really fun. Everyone's sharing tons of different Christmassy pictures. I have seen so many more Christmas trees than I would have seen without the Facebook group. So if you're into that kind of thing, it will be linked below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.